Hello guys, this is Elliot. Um, this is another video of mine. I know it's been a long time again um, and today is for once not a sketchbook tour but just a sketch with me, I guess. Um, we are doing some marker painting and I just wanted to talk about my process and like recent art projects I have been working on, I guess. So you can see me just going right in with Marcus because lately I have not been feeling like doing like pencil sketches before that. I don't know why. It's just, it's a flow and it's been working. Also, I've been working a lot with acrylics and that means I can't really do like an under sketch thing and I just do that with like very watered down paint. So this is the equivalent to that by just like working with like very pastel -y colors. And I started off with two eyes because uh, as all of us know, all of us artists know, um, eyes are <laughs> the window to an artist's fucking everything. Um, we are now watching me pick out songs on Spotify because I cannot draw in silence. Um, so yeah, I just started off with these eyes and some light tones and then working my way through mid tones and then darker tones, but I will also explain that while working. So yeah, recently I've been very fed up with uni, but um, that also uh, just makes it more comfortable to finally paint something for myself and like work in my sketchbook more because I have been working on paintings that have a very heavy topic and it's it's been a lot lately. Um, I am working on a series of paintings on the topic of queerness and regarding a lot of like queer history and queer issues. <laughs> so this is just relaxing and drawing some stuff I actually like to draw. Um, later on you will see me add like more stuff to this than just the eyes and the face. It's, it's more of a moth thing. And that's also because I have been working on moth designs for tattoo designs. Uh, by the way, I, I tattoo and like I, I really like doing that. So I started incorporating some of my design ideas into like sketches I do on a regular basis. You can see me at midtones right now. This purplish color, which was like really nice for adding shadows. And you will see me use it more and more if we get closer to the end. Um, I also have been working with just random colors. It's not very much like accurate skin tones or anything. It's supposed to be kind of, um, well, how do I say this? Um, it's supposed to be kind of pastel -y and ethereal, if you will. Yeah, so working with acrylics lately has taught me a lot about color, actually. Just layering a lot of different paints on top of each other. I work a lot with watered down paints like you would with watercolor, I guess, but on large scale acrylic paintings, which is nice because it gives more depth in my opinion. And I've been trying to incorporate my knowledge about that into this sketch. Um, yeah. Also recently, apart from uni, I have just been working a lot more on tattoo designs than on painting because in my private time, like in my, my free time, apart from uni, I really just don't get to sketch a lot. I write a lot lately um, and also just fidget I guess and like talk to friends and talk to partners and just don't get a lot of time painting. Also because I'm not home a lot, so the sketchbook has really been saving me, just because I can take it everywhere. I think it's the Sakura one, it's it's like a black sketchbook, I've been using this for ever. Um, and like the last sketchbook tour I posted, that was also uh, the Sakura sketchbook, just the, the, the other one. <laughs> uh, you will probably eventually get a sketchbook tour of this one, but it may take a while because um, as we all know, I am very irregular in posting YouTube videos. <laughs> um, I now decided to add some yellow to uh, add some lighting, I guess. I don't really know if I like it or not, but uh, that's why I didn't do a lot of it, because I felt like it would pop too much always. Like it, it would just take away from the pastel colors. Uh, also used some dark red to like give the eyes some 
mm, some vampire looks maybe some some sleep deprived kind of high look um, I am now adding a nose which I was also not sure about I was not sure if I wanted to make the painting like just a well the drawing um, just a sketch of a face or not so or just the eyes and then like do other stuff on the page but I decided for a two page spread just having one motive like these eyes and the moth thing that you will see. I unintentionally used kind of lines to add depth, but they also kind of look like tears. Um, that was unintentional, but I kind of like the look of it. We also have me adding more mid-tones to the nose, and I really like to add blush on nose of my characters, so I started off with kind of a pinkish tone and worked my way through like mid-tones and blue tones that I already used in the eyes just to add more dimension and shading to it um, and make it less pink. Uh, you can see me do that now with like a mint blue kind of shade. Yeah, so let me talk a little bit about why I love carrying my sketchbook around. As I said, I really don't have a lot of time or space to actually work on paintings right now. So I just carry this around with me everywhere and just catch like a bit of um, a vibe whenever I feel like it and just work on things that I enjoy, which is amazing actually, if you have like a lot of things to do in uni and you have to really cope with other things in your life. Um, sorry for the lighting change, by the way, it was a mess. Um, basically, it's been a wild ride trying to coordinate my entire life. So just carrying my sketchbook and just working on things as I go is much more fun than actually having to sit down and create stuff uh, in a rush. So therefore, I am now just using uh, my sketchbook as like a I would not say coping mechanism, but like as something that I can work on whenever I feel like it and have no pressure actually finishing stuff. But for some reason, I still end up doing finished pieces in the sketchbook all the time, like this one. Um, apart from tattoo designs that I do in here, apart from just doodles and scribbles, I also have been doing some finished stuff in here, which annoys me <laughs> since I actually really really like the spread and I did over two pages I can't even rip it out of my sketchbook I might have to scan it in later on because I really really like it it turned out kind of cool um, and as you can see here I added the moth to make it more of a fantasy thing I guess uh, I recently well recently it's, it's been a month or like two months actually I think it's been two or three months actually Jesus okay um, so I tattooed myself a big moth on my thigh and ever since then I've been kind of obsessed with drawing moths uh, I am adding more shade <laughs> or shade, if you know what I mean, um, with the purple-ish color I've been using for the eyes too. Also, I have been realizing that I learned some color theory out of school. i just been picking up on things, like practicing, and also just uh, I am obsessed with color. A lot of people that I know in my, my art classes and a lot of people that I know privately don't really enjoy working with color because it can complicate things. Um, but I also know people who are very awesome at color and can't really pick up on the drawing stuff. 
and I am somewhere in the middle because I don't think I am graphically especially good at drawing. Um, but I do kind of enjoy my color work, even though I think it needs some like work and time put into it so that I can learn more about color theory. Um, but I've been enjoying color theory for a long time, which is also why I incorporated it into like my recent project of queer history things that you can, by the way, um, soon you will be able to see that on my Instagram and I might even make a video out of it because I feel like I would love to talk about it more uh, if you couldn't tell by me talking about it even though it's not in this video. Um, but uh, through that also I incorporated a lot of color theory. Um, I worked a lot with um, color history too because for example I did a painting on um, the pink triangle history, so basically history of homosexual men being harassed by the Nazi system, which is awful. And that is why, as I have stated in the beginning, it is very hard for me to process everything I've been working on, but it's also very interesting. And like, even though it's kind of depressing and you have to work through a lot of stuff to get to um, a point where you can like process it enough to paint it, uh, it has been very interesting to work through stuff while focusing on the artistic standpoint. So um, just like with this painting, I started off with a rough idea of one, what I wanted to do and then worked out the concept while, while going. I use color to mainly like process things that are going up, like going down in, inside my mind. In this case, it's it's more of a rough feeling of like loneliness and mm, being overwhelmed with emotion. And I feel like pastel colors for some reason really put that down for me. Um, I'm now adding a background also in pastel colors and I kept that one like very lightly shaded. It's teeth. Um, those of you who have been following me for a while know that I love to draw these faceless creatures with like teeth and no face otherwise. And I decided to add that into the background because it just brings more dimension and it also framed the face kind of nicely without giving it a mouth because I felt like giving it a normal mouth would have taken away some of the whimsical energy, the ethereal, ethereal energy it gave off. So. I decided to make it a bit more spooky um, by just adding these teeth into the background. So that is what I'm doing right now. I'm sorry, by the way, if this voiceover is the most chaotic one uh, I have done yet, but <laughs> um, I haven't done this in a long time. I've been podcasting, um, but like not recording drawing videos and sometimes I just don't really know what to say about my process because as I have said a lot of it is just like going with the flow and figuring out what colors I want to go where and what kind of shading I need somewhere which is kind of why it's so meditative like it's it's very calming to just work on something with Marcus all the time because it's just it's layering. It's layering a lot of different pastel tones in this case and just working as we go. Also, at this point, I thought about adding line work with a black pen, but I didn't end up doing that because I felt like it would have taken away from the, from the, yeah, as I said, like this ethereal kind of smoky energy going on. Um, and therefore I did not do that. But I do end up adding some more of the random color splotches to, to dive, diffuse, diffuse the energy and like make it more, um, yeah, visually pleasing, I guess. So we have me adding some of the pinkish, purplish tones into the overall painting and trying to not mess up the composition too much by making it too bottom heavy or anything. Um, yeah, and I ended up being really happy with this piece actually, which I didn't, I didn't anticipate. I thought this might turn out like something I would not enjoy hanging on my wall, but I would, I actually would. Um, so let me know what you what you think about it and um, maybe let me know if you want me to make a video about the, the art project I have going on right now um, and anything else. Uh, you can follow my Instagram 
it's art gecko i will link it in the description and also you can follow my private instagram for more updates on my art project or my life for that matter <laughs>